about talking to teachers, we often hear that they'd like help improving students' whiteboards. Let's talk about more strategies to do just that. Student whiteboards tend to follow a progression. When they first start out, they will give you a claim and some evidence, but the justification will often be something vague and unrelated to the work they've been doing. One of my students once wrote, our evidence is important because it's evidence on a beginning whiteboard. One great way to help move them on from this stage is to use the argument on a whiteboard poster, which has sentence stems to use for what goes in each box. Another thing we sometimes see in the early whiteboards is all students using a bar graph to show their evidence. One way to help with this is to create a class anchor chart over ways to show what we know. This way, students can reference the chart when they are thinking about how to best show their thinking. After a while, they will start putting their analysis in the evidence box and their interpretation in the justification box. This is especially true for students who have already been working with claim evidence reasoning. To help with this stage, we recommend using our argument cards to have students sort sample whiteboards into strong and weak arguments and then debrief that as a class. You can also show them sample whiteboards and critique those as a class looking for glows and grows to help students move on and create better boards. At some point, students will start working toward whiteboards that have the analysis and interpretation in the evidence box, and their justification box will be focused on the science. At this point, it becomes all about meeting students where they are, and we've found that one of the most successful ways to do this is to highlight great things that you see on certain boards. For instance, if a group has a particularly good assumption on their board, and you think that the rest of the groups are ready for it, point that out to the whole class and talk about why it's so great. You'll have kids clamoring to add assumptions to their board after that. Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates on ADI.